welcome to making stuff. I'm Toby Shapshack and in this episode I'm going to show you how to make your very own large Tetris bookshelf. At Stuff we don't just review stuff, we make stuff. When I was a kid, I used to make things with my late father all the time. He was very handy, very dexterous. He could do incredible things with tools. He obviously taught me all of these things, but I haven't really had much opportunity to put them into practice until COVID hit. And while we were all locked at home, I took an old front door and turned it into a fire engine for my son. My wife and I were looking at his bedroom, which has these pretty plain, boring, white cupboards that came with the house when we bought it. And while we were thinking about what to do, I struck upon an inspiration that I've always wanted to do, which is make Tetris shelves. It's a retro but cool thing, I think, for a kid of his age. I'm obviously a fan of mid-century modern, so I wanted to bring that kind of retroness into his life as well. So we got hold of our friends from Leroy Merlin that we've done some projects with before, and here we are building Tetris shelves for a young kid. And in fact, we're probably going to use these in the stuff offices as well. So what do you need and how do you do it? Well, luckily, you don't have to take notes. We've created a downloadable PDF with the technical drawings and the specifications, how much wood you need, what you need to cut it to, the paint, the rollers. Luckily, I have my own drill. So to optimize how we use this big board of super wood, we gave our technical drawings to Leroy Merlin's woodwork department and they calculated how best to use the wood without wasting any of it. So super wood is good, it's strong and it is exactly what we need. So we got one piece of wood, we use the corresponding side. I am a bit of a stickler for these kinds of details. So I like to use drill a pilot hole with a, just a very thin drill bit. We are using self-tapping screws, obviously, but what I think is good is to use a countersink bit. In fact, I think this is a rose countersink, if I remember from my school woodwork days. You don't have to do much countersinking because they're very small screws, but it does just give it a bit of extra polish. So just a little bit in each of the holes just to make sure that the screw sits nice and level with the surface. So let's put in a few screws. So a little pro tip, if you want to make screwing in screws a little easier, do it by hand first just so it doesn't bounce or jump when you use the drill. Remember to push very firmly so that you have good traction and off we go. So you need a little bit of extra space here so that you've got some space for the filler. We got a lot of those to go, so let's get going. time to do a little painting. First we're going to use a little bit of primer. I'm using white primer instead of pink because we're going to use multiple colors. You get these handy packs that have some painters, some rollers and some sandpaper in it. Very useful, clever little bundle. complete let's get the whole bookshelf together this is it after all the work and there's been a lot behind the scenes we have Tetris bookshelves they're not entirely accurate there's a little gap here and there but it doesn't matter this has been a fantastic project where I have recreated one of my favorite childhood games as a bookshelf for my seven-year-old son 
Obviously, I've kept the red one down here because that stuff's color. But you can see you can construct it in any shape that you want. And it's taken us about a day to cut everything, put it together, primer, paint it. Thanks to Leroy Merlin for doing all the heavy lifting, especially Funny and Wendy who have helped us get everything together. You can see this and other making stuff projects on stuff.co.za and you can look at leroymerlin.co.za for all of the ingredients we used to bake this fantastic, no, no, it's not a cake, to make this fantastic bookshelf. On the next episode of Making Stuff, we are going to make something just as interesting and just as difficult, and I'm sure you're going to love this. Please subscribe wherever you get your videos and podcasts, and tune in next time. Thanks for watching.